In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use index and match formulas in Excel to perform lookups with multiple matches. In my case, I will be performing a 3D or a three-way lookup using our index match formulas. So in my data set over here, I have data that is classified into three categories. First of all is the supplier, and then it's the type of uh, supply that they're offering me, and then there's the month of the year. So as an example, Pinnacle Innovations provides me with stationary services or products. And these are the quantities or the sales amounts for uh, the following months. But the same company, Pinnacle Innovations, also provides me with, for example, IT services. And here's the data for that. So what we want to do is we want to be able to search up a supplier from our list over here search up the type of service that they're offering and then search up the month that we're looking for and using all that information combined we want to return their 2023 spend so essentially we'll be using column a column b as well as row six these three criteria to perform our index match function so that in cell d2 over here we can return the final value based on this three-way lookup so let me go ahead and let me show you how we can do this using a very simple and straightforward formula. So we'll start off with our index match formula equals to index. And our array in our case is going to be this. This is the final array that we'll be returning, uh, the spend amounts for the businesses. And we'll select that. And, and then after that, we can enter a comma and we can select our row number. So in our case for our row, we're looking for two matches. We're looking for the supplier name and the supplier um, procurement type. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write down match. Open bracket uh, this and this value, the supplier name and the type, because those will be side by side. And the lookup array, which will be this column over here, as well as an and function to add the second column, which will be column B and we're going to go ahead and add a comma and it's going to be an exact match so we'll add zero and we can go ahead and close the bracket add a comma now it's asking us for the column now the column is going to be based on our months right so that's going to be another match function okay open bracket our lookup value this time will be our month because the months are on top over here and the lookup array for these months will be up here because these months can be found over here and the match type will be zero we'll close the bracket twice and we'll press enter and we get 137608 right over here is the data value over here 137608 and that cybernext dynamics fleet for the month of march and that number has been returned to us over here now that's how you can actually use index match kind of pair them together and use your data set to easily find matches without having to actually eyeball anything. And as for the data validation, it's simple. I have shown it in my previous videos as well. You simply have the list of unique items, and then you simply click on a cell, go into data, and then select this data validation icon over here. Source is the list. And then you simply go ahead and you find your unique list and you press OK. And that allows you to select from the list, okay? And that's what we've done over here. So we can select a supplier name, its procurement type, the month for which we're looking for the spend. And now it's returning to us this dynamic index match with multiple criteria, this function. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do consider subscribing. And thank you for watching.